Number 89, calculate these masses. Then I see that we have A and B, so I'm just going to quickly write A over here and B over here. Okay, so for A, they say what is the mass of 6.00 centimeters cubed of mercury, and it has a density of 13.5939 grams per centimeter cubed. Okay, so we want to know what the mass is, so we don't know what the mass is, so mass is a question mark. And I see that we have a centimeter cubed here, so you guys should be able to spot that out. Centimeter cubed is a form of volume. Always, 100% of the time, um, no exceptions. So whenever you see centimeters cubed, it's always a volume. So we have a volume here, I'm just gonna put a V, of 6.00 centimeters cubed, and they gave us a density, so D, right? 13.5939 grams per centimeter cubed. And they want to know what the mass is, so this looks like an easy-peasy density problem, right? Remember your formula for density. Density equals mass divided by volume. Pretty straightforward equation. By now, we've done tons of these problems. If this is your first one, go back to the past ones. Somewhere in the 80s, we do density, so just go back a little bit. But the hardest part about density is knowing the correct units, and always look at the unit for what they give you for the density. This will set you up as to what you need to know. So in this one, density was grams per centimeter cubed, right? So the units have to match. The grams has to be the mass unit, and the centimeters cubed has to be the volume unit. So when you do this, the mass has to be in grams for this one, and the volume has to be in centimeters cubed. But it's perfect because we have centimeters cubed for the volume. So let's plug in and solve. D equals M over V. The density was 13.5939 equals X over 6.00, right? And this one is a pure cross multiplication because this will times by this and this will times by this because remember, the 13.5939 is over 1. So it's just cross uh, multiplication. So let's do it in the calculator. So now x would be equal to the mass, and we get 13.5939 times 6. We get 81.5634, but we need to incorporate the correct number of sig figs. We're multiplying here, so we take the lowest total. You guys should know your sig figs by now. In this whole number, there are six sig figs. All of these count, the one, three, five, nine, three, and nine. And for this number, there's three sig figs. These zeros count because there's a decimal. Those are your trailing zeros. So your answer just needs to have three sig figs. So the eight, the one, and the five stay. The six, We'll round the 5 up to a 6, however. So your mass would be 81.6, and now we just got to give the correct units. And since the density was in grams per centimeter cubed, this would be in grams. Box that answer off. That's your answer for A. What's the mass? 81.6 grams. And that one is done. Now we're moving on to B. What is the mass of 25.0 milliliter octane? The density is 0 0.702 grams per centimeter cubed. So same thing here. We have to look for a mass so that we don't know. The volume was 25.0 milliliters, and the density that we gave, or that they gave us, was 0 0.702 grams per centimeter cubed. Okay, do we see a semi sort of problem here? Yeah, right? In this one, the volume they gave us to us in milliliters, but the density unit is in centimeters cubed. Technically, they have to be the same, right? But just know that milliliter is equal to centimeter cubed. So technically, the conversion is for every one milliliter, there is one centimeter cubed. So you need to use that conversion to just convert to the correct units. But 
it's always going to be the same. So here, 25 milliliters is just saying 25.0 centimeters cubed. And now we have the same unit. So it was just the same, but it was in disguise. Sometimes they'll do that. That's how they trick you. All right, so now we're going to just plug it in. D equals M over V. 0 0.702 equals X over 25.0. This is another cross multiplication. So this multiplies together and that multiplies together. So you would get X equals, which is the mass, 0 0.702 times 25. Okay, and we just need the proper sig figs. You get 17.55 in the calculator, but you guys should know that in this number, there's three sig figs. This zero does not count because it's a leading zero. Leading zeros never count. And in the other number, 25.0, there is also three sig figs. This zero counts because it's a trailing zero and there was a decimal. So the 1, 7, and the 5 stay, the 5 next door will tell me that this needs to be rounded to a 6. So I'll just put it up here. We have 17.6 grams because that was the unit that was in the density for mass. So 17.6 grams, that's the answer for part B. So there we go, guys. It was just two plain and simple density formulas. All you got to do is just watch out for your units for this one. All right? So... Thanks so much for tuning in, right? If you want to know when we, you know, give out our next batch of questions, hit the subscribe button. Then you'll always be in the know as to when we do that. If this helped you guys, hit that like button, or if, as I say, smash that like button. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you guys all in the next question. Take care now.